This is a repair of a 50 inch sharp TV that's not turning on, but if you flash your flashlight at it, you can see that there is an image. The first thing that you want to do is to remove the back case. As you're lifting up the case, be careful because there's wires that connect to the power button at the right hand side. So this lift up gently and then you'll be able to see it. This is what the power button looks like. Now with the back case off, we can see the different parts. There's your power supply board, your T-com board, and your main board. We want to test the backlight. So we will get the power board and disconnect the LED cables. Using my LED tester, we can verify that this is the problem. Put your positive to positive and negative to negative. And we can see we get 64 volts and there is light. So that strip is okay. When I change to the other strip, the voltage is not changing and there is no light. Therefore, those are bad LEDs. Now just remove the speakers with some tape. Remove the connector that connects to the speakers. And remove the plastic bottom panel. Remove the cable that connects to the bottom panel and set that aside. Now remove the ribbon cables by flipping the black tape tab up. So flip the black tab up and then lift up the ribbon cable. We want to loosen the bottom ribbon cables that connect to the TV screen. Just using a screwdriver, there's maybe a little bit of glue. After you have that loosened, flip the TV over. And remove all the small screws that hold the plastic frame around the TV. Remove the plastic frame and set that aside. Now gently lift the ribbon cables up and tape them to the front of the TV because they'll come with the screen as we remove the screen. Use inception cups. As I pull up you can see that there's some tape so you need to use a razor to cut the tape along the screen. Be very gentle when you're doing this. I found that just giving a little tug it, at the last step, it was able to break free. Place the screen somewhere safe. Unclip the plastic clips that go around. Remove the little plastic tabs. Tape the white sheets together. I tape all four corners. Remove the white paper, the white screens. Now remove the little spacers and remove the white paper at the bottom. Now we have access to all our LEDs. We're going to test each strip to verify which ones work and which ones don't. That's working. There's a row that doesn't work. Now you're gonna go down that row and find which LEDs are bad on that row. I found one, remove the light filter, and we'll have to repair this LED. I'm breaking off it, the LED with the little wire cutters. I'm applying liquid solder. 
and this is my repair LED. It's three millimeters by three millimeters, and there's a big pad and a small pad. And we'll put it on. Using a heat gun, heat up the LED for about 20 seconds. If you don't have a heat gun, you can also do this with a normal iron. You just have to tack both sides. It's a little bit more tricky though. Put the light filter back on. I'm using some shoe glue just to, to reattach the filter. Adjust the filter if needed. I attach the power button and you can see there is another problem. There's some loose connection on one of my strips and I found that the cable wasn't fully pushed through so I just push it back. And you can see it's working now as I wiggle it. Now we just have to reassemble the TV, putting everything back the way that we took it off. This TV I'm powering on, and there you go, sharp, open the TV, and everything is working. I hope this helps. If you like it, subscribe and give a thumbs up.